Madden Gods. Perfect. So these are the guys we picked up just from trading a little bit here. Jalen Ramsey, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, Levante David, Mike Evans, Ali Marpet. We picked up Roquan Smith, Miles Jack, John Johnson the third. And it didn't really take us too long to do it. We could have continued this process forever. We got really good draft picks as well. So it's looking good. You play two games of chess in life. One can be seen, the other you play with yourself. A lot or a pawn to both. Keep your mind right and learn to love yourself. Welcome into tipsforgamers.com, home of pro gamers dedicated to making the game work for you. We live by a simple philosophy. Don't just play the game, own the game. Today, Madden had a massive franchise update that affected the trade logic drastically. However, we're going to show you how to trade for any player or any draft pick that you want to trade for in Madden 21. We're going to get Pat Mahomes, Jalen Ramsey, Tyree Kill, Travis Kelsey, and much, much more. You'll be able to do whatever you want to do after this video is over. And to top it off, we are going to show you how to do this using a single player to get all these trades to go through. Now let's see how many likes and shares we can get this video to. Also make sure to comment down below. Give us some love, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to visit our website after the video is over, guys, to join our Madden group and to check out other sweet and sexy Madden content or other gaming content as well. And if you want to look like a saucy beast, make sure to get merged up because as you all know, it's nothing personal, baby. It's just business. Now, without further ado, let's jump into this dirty mix-up. There's only one thing we want you guys to worry about, and that is picking up Colin Kaepernick. Whether you're in the regular season uh, or the preseason, you can pick him up during the free agency or you have to trade for him in the regular season. Either way, you got to get this guy. And don't worry, we're going to show you how to trade for him in many different ways. Uh, but he is the key to success here. We're going to show you how to use him against the system that they just implemented and we're going to do it all in the same team. So we are going to be adding in a little bit of the SAR and SAT into this, but it's not going to be what you would typically know it as. If you don't know what it is, we'll have it in the link in the description below. I don't really want to explain it. However, they did try to stop this. There's there's no doubt Man was really watching our videos and they were trying to stop some of our trade stuff and some of our exploits that we've been doing, and, and we have no problem with that. I'd rather you make this system amazing and me not have to be able to come up with a bunch of crazy stuff. Um, however, w what they did was they, they really focused on shutting down the SAR, um, but they left gaps for it here and there. And then on top of that as well, the biggest area which they messed up on, I guess I would say, is the fact that the trade away value of a player can be fluctuated now and they wanted to change that so like let's say i wanted to trade a quarterback if it was a good quarterback like colin kaepernick is really good in their eyes um if i wanted to trade a quarterback for a quarterback like typically colin kaepernick or no quarterback would show green interest on the chiefs right because they have pat mahomes so why would they be interested in them at all well what the system is doing now is the system is saying well it's a quarterback he's extremely valuable and in the cpu can't get off of how valuable valuable this quarterback is right it's stuck on it so let's feed the cpu if it wants that let's feed it because now i'm going to show you that i can influence influence the trade away value but also the trade for value and we'll show you how we're going to do that in this video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to clear up some cap room on the chiefs team uh, because they spent a lot of, a lot a lot of money and they have no cap room like whatsoever so we got to clear it up and uh, this is easy to do. It's, I mean, it's extremely easy to do. Whatever position you want to go after, right? You don't have to go after left tackle. We've shown you multiple times you got to go after left tackle. You don't. Okay, what you have to do is just replace whoever you're getting. Okay, so if I'm getting a left tackle on their team, I got to give them a left tackle. And it's just for roster purposes. That's it. It's just to keep them at that minimum roster size. So then I have to offer them a draft pick in in with it because of the fact that i'm not going to be able to get him for just that left tackle it depends what tackle you use but chances are i'm not going to be able to do that so even a fourth round pick uh is just 
not getting the job done. So what I'm going to do is I'll go, you know, third round pick. I don't really care how much I give up at this moment in time. This is the early stages. I don't really care. You can ask for picks back, but if you don't, don't sweat it. You'll be able to get it back. So now that we cleared up enough cap room, we gave up Colin Kaepernick, a first round pick of this year, pick 12, and a third round pick of this year, pick 72 for Travis Kelsey, Tyree Kill, and Sammy Watkins. Now we had to add Sammy Watkins in as well. Uh, just because of the fact that we had to clear up more cap room for their team. So make sure that you have some decent cap room. Uh, if you got to move some guys around or do whatever, uh, make sure you do that because you don't want to miss out on this. You're going to have so many players, it's ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, now I use Colin Kaepernick and I want to get Colin Kaepernick back. So now we are going to get Colin Kaepernick back and there are two different ways that you can get it back. For one, you can trade for him. You can trade for him back. Uh, it's not super hard. Um, it can be hard depending on what team you're doing this with, uh, but there's backup plans as well. We'll show you further in the video here, or you could do the SAR and that's a quicker method that you could just do really quick. And what we'll do here is we'll grab the three guys. Now, now, if you want to do the SAR, you have to have them in a 53 man roster. So what I've had to do since I traded for a lot of their guys, I grabbed Kelsey. I grabbed a few of the other guys. I had to stack their team back up with certain guys, uh, like Ford. I gave him Ford. I gave him Bowden. Uh, so I had to bring them back up to whole. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer three quarterbacks, uh, for a seventh round pick. Now they have Colin Kaepernick and they have Pat Mahomes. Now what's going to happen here is, is the CPU has to make a decision on who they're going to cut. It has to be at a 53 man roster and the CPU has to cut somebody. So who are they going to cut out of these guys? It's going to be Colin Kaepernick, going to be Pat Mahomes. Like who's it going to be? So even if it's just Colin Kaepernick, it's fine by me. I have no issue with that whatsoever because I want Colin Kaepernick back. So let's just say I'm going to do, you know, six round pick for three quarterbacks here, 66 overall. I'm going to go back to their team now and I want to see what happened to their QBs. And what you saw there was they just dropped Colin Kaepernick. So the guy that we just utilized in this you just got them dropped. Now, you're not going to have to do that this entire time. This is not going to be the video where you put them on team, trade three guys and do that because at times he's going to be the starter and they're not going to cut him unless you put a certain guy in place and you do the right things. Or you can put a guy in place, do the SAT and kind of trade for him. Now, we're going to go over that here in this video, but it's not going to be just, okay, wait, trade three guys now. Now he drops, pick him up again. That's not how it's going to be. There's going to be circumstances where you can utilize the living hell out of that and there's gonna be circumstances where you can't you're gonna to have to outsmart it and trade it trade your way out of it which is easy to do so what we did now is we traded colin kaepernick back to the chiefs after we picked him up from free agency we threw in adam the backup tight end because we just don't need him uh he doesn't make a difference in this trade at all you could pull him off and the trade will go through just as it did if he was on uh the fourth round pick was added in but we really wanted those first round picks we wanted our first round pick back uh, because then i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to do the sar you utilize pat mahomes being in that situation and I'm basically, I could just keep ripping off everybody. I could trade Kaepernick for Chris Jones and then do the same process, trade three quarterbacks and the same three quarterbacks will be on the free agency and you'll just be able to keep this process up and you'll basically be able to take everybody off the Chiefs team just from this simple process. And then at the very end of it, you leave Pat Mahomes there and then you trade for Pat Mahomes. So you can utilize Pat Mahomes being there and Colin Kaepernick and just basically take everything everyone on the Chiefs. And if they don't have any seventh round picks anymore for you to be able to do the SAR, all you have to do is like replenish their picks back, ask for a fifth, give them a seven, six and a six or whatever, whatever you want. Keep adding more on if you need to, uh, but I'm going to replenish their team and then I'm going to do the same thing again. We'll move on and we'll come back and get Pat Mahomes, but I'm going to grab more. I'm going to grab these three guys. They have the cap room for it. It's amazing. Uh, so grab this seventh round pick and you can see that they do have Colin Kaepernick and then he will just disappear. Most of you guys have seen this a million times, but uh, it is new on how they have this set up. So it's interesting. It's, it's really, really, really interesting. Uh, so he's gone so I could pick him up again. And I'm going to utilize Colin Kaepernick to, when I come back to get me Pat Mahomes. Uh, it's amazing. I really, really love what they did, even though 
uh, it's you could get intense with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I picked Colin Kaepernick back up off the free agency. I used the SAR uh, for him on the Chiefs. Now, I'm not done with the Chiefs yet. I still need to get Pat Mahomes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it easy on myself to get Pat Mahomes, and I want to profit while I'm doing this at the same point in time. So the big thing to remember is that where the projection is for the draft pick is is where all the value is. Now, this is nothing new, but this is something that you need to have in the back of your mind. And what do I mean by that exactly? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I guess I'll explain even more, which means this is the first round. It is projected pick one because of the fact that they just didn't have a very good season, right? So that pick is extremely valuable, even if that pick is just a projection. Because remember, we are in the regular season now. We have not played this season. There's no saying what this pick will be, and there's a high likelihood it will not be the first overall pick in this draft. So why not utilize it now? You can use all these picks, keep the ones that you like, the ones that are not good, you could ditch them off at the end of the year or before the trade deadline. So uh, as simple as this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get their first round pick because this pick is extremely valuable. Now, it doesn't seem extremely valuable, but using Colin Kaepernick, uh, you know, he's a high value target. Okay, way too high value target. However, uh, it gets you this first overall pick. So now that I traded Colin Kaepernick to the Jaguars, I got to trade for him back. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm using Gasecki because I have already a good tight end. Now, if you need a tight end, then go and use Colin Kaepernick to get you the tight end, get Colin Kaepernick back. Uh, and then you, you know, you could do this and do it very, very easily on top of as well. You don't actually have to go out and get a player of the team needs. What you can do is you can actually get a quarterback who's a higher overall than him who you can utilize the SAT with and we'll show you that here in a second when we go to another team but right now I'm picking on the Jaguars so I'm taking Colin Kaepernick back I just got their first round pick for Colin Kaepernick and now I'm giving him a tight end for him and to be honest I probably could have even got more but for the sake of the video I'm moving quickly okay I was just messing around but I figured I'd show you anyways I traded Colin Kaepernick back to the team for Gasecki and and Jack. Uh, and so now I want to get Colin Kaepernick back and then uh, we could go on to a new team and we don't have to keep picking on the Jaguars. Okay, I'm done messing around. Now I traded him back to the Jaguars. Uh, I could trade him back and get Kaseki again and grab another guy with it and just keep trading those two back and forth. <laughs> but um, I'm not going to do that in this. Uh, I'm just going to move on my way and we'll go to a new team. So now I'm going to pick on the Buccaneers. I used Colin Kaepernick, a first round pick, pick 30 that I got from the Chiefs when I was trading with the Chiefs. And what I did is I offered him Brita as well. You could get a better halfback or you could get him back really simply if you want to. Uh, Mike Evans, though, I picked up Levante David and Ali Marpet. Uh, so I think overall this is a pretty good trade. And I'm going to get Colin Kaepernick back. Okay, so now that I traded Colin Kaepernick, I actually want Colin Kaepernick and Tom Brady back at the same time. So I gave up two second round picks. Um, Tom Brady is Colin Kaepernick's kryptonite. So what I'm saying by that is you can utilize the SAT for Colin Kaepernick. So Colin Kaepernick is never actually impossible to trade for, regardless of whatever team he's on until Madden does an update and tries to stop this because they watch this video. But it, let's say you have a hard time trading for Colin Kaepernick. The reason Colin Kaepernick can be traded like this is because of Colin Kaepernick is under Tom Brady, right? Now, if I do the SAR, they'll release Tom Brady. If I have Tom Brady there, I can do the SAT. And in fact, I can even trade for Brady at the same time because it not only lowers his value that Colin Kaepernick's there, but it lowers Colin Kaepernick's value that Tom Brady's there. It doesn't really make sense, but it makes sense. Uh, and that's the best way I can explain it to you. So I'm going to grab these guys back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Bears and then take their pick. And then we're going to move on from there, get Jalen Ramsey. And then uh, we'll finish up the video from there. I gave up too much in this, but I'm moving quick because of the sake of the video uh, but I needed to get the second round pick from the, the Bears so I got their second round pick because remember that value is extremely high I wanted to get Roquan Smith as well because I love Roquan Smith so I gave him Colin Kaepernick Kinley and then I gave him the second round pick that we stole from some team somewhere somehow I don't remember we gave it to him and then stole from him at this point I don't remember however I wanted to get multiple guys back 
from this trade. Now I got to get Colin Kaepernick back again, and then we're going to move on from there. So now what I did is I traded Tom Brady because remember he is his kryptonite. I traded Tom Brady for a seventh round pick. Don't worry. You can get Tom Brady back for basically nickels and dimes. So I traded him for the seventh round pick, and now they are stacked with Tom Brady and Colin Kaepernick now. So I could either try to trade for them both back at the same time, or I could just say, hey, I want to make it easier and just try and trade for Colin Kaepernick back. Okay, so now I traded Colin Kaepernick back to our team. I gave them a second round pick and a fifth round pick, and I got a sixth round pick in exchange. So I can't complain too bad with this trade. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wave trade three guys just because uh i want to so i'm going to ask for a fifth round pick wave trade three guys to their team they had tom brady and now they don't so now they cut tom brady so i use tom brady uh, and then to get us colin kaepernick and then i wave traded three quarterbacks did the sar for him got him cut and now tom brady is waiting for us on the free agency right now we could pick him up and utilize him in even more trades uh so this is pretty fantastic the system's working well for us we still got to go get jalen ramsey and then we still got to go get pat mahomes that's what we're going to do now and i'm going to pick up uh tom brady currently anyways even though my get out of here even though okay i'm in i have no cap room so i gotta clear some cap room so now's the time for us to trade for pat mahomes and unfortunately i really wanted to get jones with him as well but you know it was pretty close 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 however um they're gonna be fighting it i'm gonna probably say hey what a six round pick something like that and it went through so we got pat mahomes now we gave him the first and second and i'm not done i want to get these guys back I want to get some picks back and i want to go get jalen ramsey okay so now what i did is i made a quick trade back to the chiefs I actually i wanted to get that first round pick first overall uh, and i i wanted a third and a fourth back with it as well uh, try to get as much back as you can. You could get a lot more than you think you can get. Okay, so all I did was pick up Tom Brady from the free agency, and now I traded Tom Brady to the Chiefs. And you already know you can get Tom Brady back for extremely cheap. So I'm basically just lending him to teams, him and Colin Kaepernick, and then that's how I'm basically doing it. So now that we have Colin Kaepernick to pick, let's finish up this video and go get our boy Jalen Ramsey. All right, so we got Colin Kaepernick back, and then we traded him with that first round pick for Jalen Ramsey and Johnson the third and a third round pick. We could have got even more. Uh, so make sure that you're asking for as much as you possibly can. So these are the guys we picked up just from trading a little bit here. Jalen Ramsey, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, Levante David, Mike Evans, Ali Marpet. We picked up Roquan Smith, Miles Jack, John Johnson the third. And it didn't really take us too long to do it. We could have continued this process forever. We got really good draft picks as well. So it's looking good. A lot happened today. Okay. There was a lot going on here not quite sure i remember everything that i just did there but it was a lot and it was a ride hopefully you guys enjoyed it